Hello all, welcome to part three of API testing training series. In this session, I am going to explain what is API testing. Let's get started. So what is API testing? In the previous sessions of this training series, I already covered what exactly is an API in a detailed manner. Now you know what is API, okay? And after that, I also explained how to download, install, and register, and log into one of the tools which we can use for performing API testing, that is Postman tool, okay? I explained a lot of different tools also, but uh, Postman is a popular one I mentioned, and how to download, install, register, and log into such kind of Postman tool I covered in this session. Now, after you understand what is API, and after you have downloaded, installed, registered, and logged into this Postman tool, now, this is the right time for you to understand what is API testing, okay? Very simple now, testing the APIs, okay? What is API testing? Testing the APIs to check whether they are resulting in proper responses with different possible inputs, okay? Testing the APIs to check whether they are resulting in proper responses with different possible inputs, okay? When you're testing this API, or APIs, okay, when you are testing this APIs, okay, you will be providing different possible inputs. For this different possible inputs, you are getting proper responses or not as output, okay? For this different possible inputs for this APIs, you are checking whether you are getting proper responses as output or not. That is called as API testing in simple terms, okay? So, uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate this particular statement uh, in a practical way using an example case, okay? For that, I'll take this website, okay? In this website, we have some sample APIs, okay? I'll be providing uh, different uh, possible inputs for this APIs in this uh, website. And uh, we are going to check whether we are getting proper responses as output for these different possible inputs in this example APIs in this website, okay? So let's go to this example website, which I'm going to use uh, for demonstrating you a practical example for API testing. That is request.in. So I'll open here and uh, type here request REQ RES dot in. REQ stands for request, RES stands for response dot in. Click on this, press enter. You'll be taken to this page, scroll down. And here you have a lot of uh, example APIs, okay? With the request and responses, okay? With the request and responses. With the different, uh, you see this, this is one of the example API which has a request and response, okay? So, but how to test them? How to test this particular API? For example, there is an API having a request saying slash API slash users page two. And we got a response and uh, this is the response we should get when we hit this uh, request. Okay, how to give different possible inputs and all those stuff, okay? So for that, uh, what is the example we have to take? Post, uh, post, exam, post register successful example I'll take in this. Uh, here there are different examples, right? Get list users and all. But I'll be taking this one post. Post which one? Register successful. Okay. Post register successful. This one. Post register successful. This this API I'm taking an example to demonstrate. So post register successful. So here there is a request URL. But I told you right how to uh, how to download, install, and register and log into Postman tool. Uh, okay. So as part of this, we have already installed. So I'll click on the search icon and uh, search for Postman. And I'll get this Postman tool, just our application, which we have downloaded, installed, and registered. And also we have create, uh, registered so we can log into that. So in a while, Postman tool will be launching in my machine. Okay. So it will appear, the options of this Postman tool will appear, guys, in a while. Just wait. Here the options are coming. It's kind of slow. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Now the options came. You can see some home, workspace, and API, and not all options came, actually. Lot of waiting time actually for this. So it's already logged in, guys. If you have not logged in, you can log in. Just clicking home and uh, so it's loading, guys. It's loading some options and all. It's not coming so easily. Let's wait for the options to appear. Finally, these options came. After we after we waited, uh, good evening, Arun Motori, and it's all saying something. And here, 
it's saying uh, get uh, uh, start with something new create a new request collection this is the first time right so uh, this kind of screen is coming so i'll just click on create new i just selected that so create new what create new okay request or okay so i don't want to uh, make this very complex so i'll just uh, create a simple basic http request okay uh, i'll select this option you see here uh, automatically this get has been come here but uh, in our example whatever the api i'm trying to explain post register successful right this is a post okay it's not get so i'll convert this into post okay i'll select post here and here i have to provide the url what url i have to give post register successful right select this register successful here you'll get the url just click on this url link guys you'll get the complete url request dot in slash api slash register this is the entire url of the request here uh, they are showing you the partial url okay when you select this one you are they are showing the partial url but if you want to get the entire request just click on that you'll get this request here copy this request and come back here and paste it here okay that's it now go back go back to this page scroll uh, again browse back and this is what we are trying right post register successful and here along with the request we are sending the email address and password okay we are passing the email address and password along with the request how to pass this for that guys here post is the request url is there and we have to pass this email address and password for that what we have to do is i'll explain more about uh, this uh, postman tool and exploring the postman tool later but for now in order to pass this particular example thing uh, which is in the json format okay the email address and password which is in the json format if i have to pass this okay what i have to do is postman after after providing this post and request url i have to select this body option okay you select this body and in this body you just select raw raw option okay out of all options you select raw option the moment you select raw option here a text option will come but this is not text right this is a json okay this is a json so since it is json what you have to do is you have to just click on this text and select json here and uh, here you can provide the json okay now you have you can provide the json here guys what you have to do is just simply copy paste copy this json and paste it here and paste it here guys that's it okay so post request url body raw json just follow for this example you just follow this example guys okay so i'll explain more about postman and uh, its features later but uh, for this particular example for for you guys to understand what exactly is api testing as an example i am taking this post register successful and if you have to provide that body you see you have to uh, select body raw and uh, then uh, json and uh, copy paste this particular uh, json text here okay now it's the right time for you to click on send if, when the moment you click on send guys here you have to get this response uh, in the response we should get 200 and uh, we should get this uh, id is equal to something token is equal to something okay so here at this moment uh, there is no response you see under the response click send to get a response is there but i didn't click on send here post method is there request url i'll explain more about methods later and request url how to get the request url i'll told you and how to give this json uh, in the body while sending along with this request i have to send this uh, data like email and password okay so this is the input case okay this is the input we are passing to this api as part of api testing and we have to get a output in the form of response click on send the moment i click on send guys so it's sending a request and uh, you see we got a response first of all we should get 200 okay as mentioned in this documentation here okay documentation of request dot in they clearly mentioned the response should come as what for this api register you should get the response as 200 let's see whether we got the response as 200 or not we got the responses 200 in how much time we got this response so from this uh, postman tool the request has been sent to the server and server has responded back to you and you got the response from the server in 2.57 seconds okay and the size of the data you got uh, is uh, 797 b okay bytes okay like that and this is the response guys uh, just check whether you got a proper response or not id 4 should come yes id 4 and there should be some token generated is the token got generated yes the token got generated okay we got a proper response okay for this input we got a proper response now is it the end of the api testing for that particular example api did we tested that post register successful api completely did we test this post register successful api completely 
just by checking uh, whether by providing this email password we got the response that is enough no okay so we have to try with different inputs guys okay so with valid email and password okay already we tried the valid email this is a valid email and password whatever i gave is a valid email and password i got a proper response that test is done second one is no email i will not provide any email so i'll remove this email from here i'll remove the email from here i'll not pass any email and click on send button let's see what will happen you see this time we didn't get 200 we got 400 bad requests and uh, in the response it's giving a proper message saying that missing email or username that's really email is missing so we should get this right we should not get 200 here and uh, token and all those stuff should not come here because we are intention we are gi intentionally giving a this is a negative testing you can call where you're not passing any email and just check just checking whether the api is really working or not we got a proper response for this proper input we got a proper response because when you don't provide email you should get missing email or username uh, so api testing is done like this guys okay no password okay what if you you email here i'll say control z here and i'll remove the password let's see whether it is working fine or not okay third test i'm doing the third test on this particular api click on send again 400 bad requests but this time again missing password is coming a different message is coming that's fine still working good then uh, no email and password both email and password i am not going to provide okay i am going to remove both email and password and click on send let's see what will happen so missing it's it's taking this email as a priority so missing email or username is coming that's fine okay empty email and password inside that means this time what i'm going to do is i am going to remove all this stuff okay uh, empty json input i am going to provide then this time what is going to happen let's see okay click on send here also same thing missing email or username things are working fine and more tests can be created guys okay this, this is just getting getting started guys i'll explain more about how many tests you can create and all okay so just getting started just uh, understanding what exactly is api testing i took this example but i have not tested this api test uh, this particular api i didn't test in uh, detail these are few examples of how you can perform api testing so let's go back to this statement again testing the apis to check whether they are resulting in proper responses with different possible inputs or not okay so we provided different possible inputs uh, sometimes we provided valid email address and valid password one time we didn't provide the email and then uh, we provide only the password then email we provided we didn't provide that there are different possible inputs for the different proper responses have come in the response or not uh, when we provided valid email and va valid username and password we got proper responses 200 and then token uh, got generated and the id and token something got generated right here like this okay id and token got generated but when you didn't give the proper inputs negative inputs when you give like uh, if you have missed some email or password then also you got a proper response like uh, 400 bad requests and uh, then you got uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, proper messages saying email email is missing email or username is missing like that you got uh, this proves that api is working fine okay with different possible inputs if you are getting a proper response appropriate proper response if you are getting then that is called as testing of the apis and apis are working fine this is an example just uh, just to get started this is an example guys but this is not a detailed uh, testing whatever i have done on this api but just for you guys to understand what exactly is api testing i took this example okay going ahead right uh, when the time comes uh, we'll go with a detailed checklist of uh, different tests we can do on an api okay but for now just to understand api testing this much is enough so hope guys you understood what is api testing in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another topic on api testing till then see you bye bye